Particle swarm is a population based algorithm. Again, as like ZA, in the in this respect, it is similar to the genetic algorithm. A collection of individuals called particles, same as it is there, moves in steps throughout the region. At each step, the algorithm evaluates the objective function at each particle. Here also, it evaluates the objective function at at each particle, whichever will have a minimum value that will be go for the next generation, right? After this evolution, the algorithm decides on the new velocity of each particle. The particle moves, then the algorithm re-evaluates. So in the, there we are uh, creating children for the next generation. Here we define the new velocity for the particles. Okay, so the inspiration of, for the algorithm is flocks of birds or insect swarmings. So what happens here, uh, simple terminology if I am talking about, let's say that flocks of birds are there, okay, and uh, if a single bird is able to find the destination, let's say that a single bird found the destination where they are going, then all birds will move towards that sing, uh, single bird, Means they will follow the, that single bird. Same as for insects as well. Means once is able to find the destination and he moved from the flocks and remaining will follow them. Or it can be a group also. Or it can be a sub group also from that flocks. It can be. So each particle is at attracted, is attracted to some degree to the base location it has found so far. And also to the base location any member of the swarm has found. It can be a group or it can be a single swarm also. It can, it can be. After some steps, the population can collapse around one location or can collapse around a few locations or can continue to move. So it can be collapsed in the one location also or multiple locations also. If they are collapsed at the one location, means they found the optimized solution. They found the destination. Something like it work. Particle swarm optimization. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, what is, how it work? Uh, the velocity of each particle in the swarm changes according to the three factors. The effect of inertia, inertia range option, these three factors are very sensible. Another is an attraction to the base location the particle has visited. Right? So we use in MATLAB as a self adjustment function, means an attraction to the base location the particle has visited that is it uh, a technical way we say self adjustment weight and attraction to the base location among the neighboring particles it is attraction to the base location for the sick particle and this is for the neighboring particles let's say that neighbor particles find out the base location that is called social adjustment weight parameter okay so we'll see how these parameters how we can provide and how we can find out the base solution uh, the particle swarm algorithm outline will be like this. The particle swarm algorithm begins by creating the initial particle, same as genetic, and assigning them initial velocities. So we assign them initial velocities. It evaluates the objective function at each particle location and determines the base lowest function. Is the base function in this case will be the lowest function because as a default, MATLAB find out the global minimum or local minimum. Value and the base location. It chooses new velocities, then new velocities will be assigned based on the current velocity. The particles, individual, base locations, and the base location of their neighbors. Based on that, means once if it is found, we will choose the new velocity for that, right? And based on the current velo velocity, other particles' velocity will be also, also changed. So there are different algorithms, Gaussians is there, random numbers, and different kind of uh, algorithms are available how to uh, give the new velocity. So there are different functions and we will see that things in option file. If the iteratively updates the particle location, it then update that uh, particle location. The new lo location is the old one plus the velocity. Means location will be the old one and the velocity, the new velocity which we have provided. Modified to keep particle within the bounds. This is very important that they have to be bound. Simply if I am saying velocity is high, it can be outbound also. Velocities and neighbors. Iterations proceed until the algorithm reaches a stopping criteria. Means when they are collapsed in the one position, that will be a 
best location for the particles that that will be the optimized point okay so same in a matlab we use particle show uh, lower bound upper bound also if you have so and what how many number of variables are there so same way like we did in the genetic algorithm so here lower bound upper bound number of variables and the objective functions which we have to optimize let's switch there so in this case uh, we are going to use this restringent function this is a restringent function and there are maximum local and minima okay so here in this case uh, we know that uh, local minima is at x1 is equal to 0 at x2 is equal to 0 and the local minima value is uh, sorry global minima value is also 0 okay first thing we know it how we can uh, how this parameters can affect in the particle swap optimization that also we are going to see okay i am switching here in matlab so first of all we will write our uh, objective function as a user defined function right you can write the objective function like this also uh, uh, let's say z is equal to only one parameter it accept one parameter it accept so one parameter i am going to give it like this and let's say my objective equation is something like that x1 square plus x2 square so in this case two parameters are there single input x and two parameters x1 and x2 is the square root of this right and here we will provide at the rate in this case right so let me write here at the rate and this is the single line function this is a single line function and square root of x1 square plus x2 square so simply i will provide the two values let's say first value is 4 and second value is 6 it will give me a square root of x1 square plus x2 square this is, you can write your objective function like this also in a single line in matlab okay so here we have uh, uh, written that objective function here okay this is the objective function okay now we are calling this objective function in this case uh, four outputs we are getting uh, x will be the x1 x2 f value will be the function value that objective value exit flag is one means it has found uh, optimum value out in output there will be some properties of that okay and this is this is just a printing that something i am printing here so this doesn't matter depends on you how you are going you can use a disk command in matlab to print something also okay now i'm going to execute this and you see in this case particle reached the value 0.0, .0 as we know that uh, uh, value was zero optimized value minimum value and it used 200 2560 function evolutions in this case 2560 function evolutions are used in this case okay let's run second time and check it again uh, second time you see that it took uh, 1480 function evolutions and uh, it reached the value at 0 0.00 right how to decrease this uh, function evolutions okay one thing what we can do uh, now this was the for the two variables only x1 and x2 only let's say that uh, we have a multiple variables it will take a long time to do this so what I am going to use, I am going to use multi erosion block. Same same equation with multiple uh, variables. Six variables are there. And variable six. Particles of function and how many number of variables do we have. So in this case, so it works with the multiple variables also. But there is an issue. You see that uh, particle swap is the value 3106.4. But the optimized value is zero. Right. And total uh, function evolutions that is 12960 so albert did not find a very good solution in this case right so what we can do uh, we can provide the lower and upper bound 
for all all variables so let's say that uh, lower bound is minus 10 for every variables and plus 10 is the upper bound because i know if you know if you know that uh, what will be the point what will the boundary where will be the minimum value you can provide in the lower and upper bound also when i run this same with the lower and upper bound here and you see that uh, now it is able to find it 0.0006 and total function evolutions are also increased 71000 previously it was less now it is 71160 evolutions in this case and we provided a lower bound and upper bound as well so i knew that uh, zero is the optimized solution in your case you will not knowing so you have to uh, display and you have to change change with the different function also so here what i am going to do perhaps the solver would converse faster if it is paid more attention to the best neighbor in the entire space so we can provide a minimum neighbor fraction remember we discussed that uh, what is the minimum neighbor fraction in this slide right so i'm going to run after providing in the optimum option what will be minimum neighbor fraction uh, so you see here uh, if i compare previous one 71000 function evolutions in this case 30000 only and we got somewhere near to 0.00462 right now let's uh, give the self adjustment weight and we already discussed here what is the self adjustment weight and attraction to the base location the particle has visited right so in matlab just uh, we can provide like this whatever option file we have self adjustment weight is that is somewhere around 1.9 we are providing and here we will get the output let me run this and in this case you see that uh, function evolutions are even lower than 30000 before it was 30000 and we got this value so if i have to if you have to make the iteration fast if you have to make our algorithm faster we could modify all these parameters and we can check check that on that as well right this is again same evolutions uh provide the initial points initial points means population 20 rows with 20 number of population 20 with six parameters six parameters as a column we have let's see what will happen as a option initial swarm matrix we have provided here so population actually term we use in genetic algorithm here we use a swarm matrix actually what will be the initial swarm matrix so in this case uh, you see that number of functional evolutions are decreased and this is the point which you so you will provide this individual as a row vectors in the case when you know that somewhere this will be the point to find out there is a one uh, to speed the enhance uh, to speed the the uh, to, to increase the speed of the this in option file we can vectorize this vectorization of that iterations so vectorization true also you can give it so it will be little bit faster than that to find out vectorization is there is a one day uh, i mean training for that also how to vectorize that everything in matlab okay instead of using loops we are using in a single line command that is called vectorization so in this c in vectorization elapsed time is 0.420094 seconds right and uh, without vectorization here true vectorization it took 0.420094 seconds and without vectorization when it is false in this case it took more 0.8193 seconds right so when you vectorize this it will be more, uh, more faster okay uh, the next we can use like this also by providing the hybrid function here so let me execute this hy with hybrid function in hybrid function you see that exactly it formed and the total function evolutions are also this so whatever option you have option dot hybrid function uh, you can provide the hybrid function is local minima maxima founder and what will be the total swarm size mean number of population See, swarm size is 60 means total swarm size will be 60 into 6 6 why because 6 parameters are there which we have to find out right so this is the way we can do tunings 
and this this is about session and some uh, overview of uh, some what more things which you can do using matlab in the case of optimization so you can use mixed integer linear programming you can use solve uh, you can solve linear programming problems also mixed integer or just a linear programming so we have uh, functions of levels for that also in matlab in optimization uh, you can use you can solve non linear curve fitting just we saw one example right and solve non linear least square method also so both methods are available uh, you can use that also uh, multi objective minimizers are also available let's say that i have a set of uh, functions of a system like this and what will be the x1 and x2 value so by all this system all these functions will be optimized so in a single line this kind of optimization also we can do in matlab just in single line function is there f min max or there is some other functions also there is a global start before that was a population based and there is a global uh, search option there so it is a multi start heuristic algorithm so means we can start from multiple points to find out the global minimum so this uh, this is called global search in matlab so multi start points also we can give in matlab and uh, pattern search is also one different approach so pattern search also we can use it doesn't rely on gradients work on smooth and non smooth problems so if it is you have smooth or non smooth problems you can use pattern search also simulated handling also you can use it is based on the controlled uh, the algorithm is based on the controlled cooling of a metal controlled cooling of a metal allow atoms to rely from a random higher energy state to a lower means the flow of energy like from higher to lower that is the concept which is taken for the simulated analytic so we can use this this algorithms are also available in built in matlab uh, multi starts already we discussed and the last demo just a very simple uh, this is a stringent function again and uh, that is a comparison of uh, all the algorithms uh, means some algorithms not all but some algorithms how we can uh, compare with uh, different uh, uh, global optimization functions available which which are available in matlab uh, so i am just switching here i am just opening it here so this kind of things uh, you can use in matlab so this is a plot this is a plot simply uh, easy to solve see means surface plot easy surface plot with contour this is a plot multiple maxima and minima are there we have to find out the global maxima and minima so we are going to use pattern search ga particle swarm surrogate optimization and uh, global search optimization right so first you see that uh, 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 i used uh, pattern search in the case of pattern search you see that uh, x1 is this x2 is this right but we know x1 will be 0 x2 will be 0 and my output will be also 0 so pattern search without modification without option file for this function the, this is the output it is not much better because even it is not near to 0 right and the total time taken uh, tick tock we used to find out the time that is 1.20 seconds in this case right the uh, ga let's use the ga so same uh, we are using the ga for that uh, ga we create a population first of all this is the initial population two variables are there columns will be two and this is a take time and talk time in this case you see that uh, it is almost near to zero but not still zero and the output of the function is always also near to zero and how much functions uh, it uh, iterations it took to that is what time is 1.37 seconds it took in this case right the time which we, which we see here let's apply particles one okay uh, something we missed at uh, let me execute uh, now i have to execute everything actually uh, just wait a minute just one minute so this is a genetic algorithm this is the particle swarm okay now i have to execute actually everything just wait a minute i was just showing you display uh, to run that uh, particle swarm i have to execute this one and uh, then i have to execute this one also again 
and further here okay um, this one particle swarm we are going to use right so in particle swarm uh, you see that uh, time is 0 0.2503 it took on the default option we are not modifying any option just we are giving the initial case and the same uh, uh, swarm matrix we are giving which we used in the case of genetic algorithm right but here you see the x1 and x2 x1 is minus 0.839 into 10 to the power minus 6 x2 is also 0 0.3073 into 10 to the power minus 6 so you see that uh, in, in the case of this objective function time taken is also less function count is more 22300 iterations are 114 and perfectly we, we have found x1 and x2 in this case x1 is also almost 0 x2 is also 0 because it is multiplied with 10 to the power minus 6 right and output also is 0 see 1.733 into 10 e is the 10 in MATLAB 10 to the power minus 12 that is also 0 so if I compare with the default options we can say that for if I have multiple maxima and minima particle swarm is better than every algorithm even we can run the uh, surrogate optimization also but it will take so much time to execute it's slower if i compare uh, other algorithms for from that okay so here you see still even it is not uh, better than particle swarm in this case right 0 0.003 and 0 0.005 x1 x2 we are getting okay but the output is almost zero but it's still uh, not uh, lower than particles or for such kind of equations right so this was the session for today and uh, now if you have any questions and answers you can ask me right now